Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good morning, good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys, I thank you, and I truly appreciate you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome new subscribers. Guys, I'm almost at that 10,000. And like I told you in the community board, I will announce when I'm going to be doing the free readings because I'm going to dedicate a whole week to you guys and do free readings for you guys, okay? So, and you must be a subscriber, okay? So, we're here doing a general reading for Capricorn. This is for November 2021. Okay. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, if you're wanting a personal reading, check my description box. My information is there. Capricorn, I've already shuffled, say, straight over your cards. Just doing a little extra more shuffling here. See what's going on with you. This is for November 2021. What other information do you have for Capricorn? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Make the effort. Great love is worth Taking the steps you're guided to take. Make the effort. You got to make the effort here on something. And you're needing to free yourself from something. Release your ex. Wow. Capricorn, what are you doing? Calling in your soulmates. Deception. Hmm. Well, I mean, this is kind of self-explanatory. There is someone that you need to get away from here. Pretty much. Let's see. Let's get some more. What is it that Cap Capricorn needs to make the effort on God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit? Are you needing to make the effort to release someone? Why is it make the effort here for Capricorn? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Why is make the effort here for Capricorn? Why is make the effort here? Okay, we have we got the Sun card. Oh, the devil. And temperance. This is definitely your card, Capricorn, the devil. You've been enlightened that somebody definitely here is toxic. The sun card, the most positive card here in the tarot, okay? Eventually, something here is going to, everything's going to be okay here. But it's time for you to make the effort to release someone. Someone is wanting to come back in here towards you also. Someone wants a second chance. Someone wants to balance things out for you. It's time for you to be patient on something here. Because you got something coming in here that's going to be, that's going to make you happy. Something here is going to make you happy. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here, guys? Okay. Somebody here could have been confused because they had options. The Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. Leo. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is Temperance here? Why is Temperance here? The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody wants to come back in and, and, and invest in a situation here with you. I'm hearing obsession too. Is someone obsessed with you, Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to free themselves from? Free yourself. Why is this here? Okay, the Queen of Cups, she wanted to come out again. So here she is.
Someone is definitely wanting to collaborate with you. But it looks like... Mm, Or you're wanting to collaborate with somebody, Gemini? A Gemini. Oh, y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. I don't know. But Capricorn. Looks like someone wants to build with you or maybe you want to build with someone else. You want to come together with this person. But... I'm getting there's a third person here. Yeah, you love this person. Whoever it is, you love them. Or they love you. Somebody definitely wants to collaborate. Someone wants to come back together with you that you are in love with. Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. I told you there's a third person here. We have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Why is release your ex? Why is release your ex here? Why is release your ex here? You're going to get some communication that's going to make you happy with this page of wands. I think someone has let someone go here, Gemini. Gem I keep saying Gemini. Capricorn, somebody has let somebody go. And they're wanting to come back because they're in love with you. The Seven of Swords. Use your intuition, okay, here, because we got the Seven of Swords here with the Page of Wands. And this could be your ex, okay? You definitely was dealing with someone that was sneaky, shady, liar, cheater, you know, did shit behind your back. I think somebody's also trying to figure out how, how they can get back in good with you too why is a page of wands with the seven of swords this could definitely be an ex that's going to be re yeah this person is wanting to come in um this person is, is strategizing also how to get close to you how to be intimate with you okay and that's clarity right there the ace of swords this person is trying to come back in. Could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They trying to strategize how to be intimate with you. Mm-hmm. Why is the Ace of Swords here with the Page of Wands and the Seven of Swords? Yeah. You possibly ended something with this person. Or now it is time to end this, really end it with this person. With the Ace of Swords and the World card here. It's time to end something with somebody. They're in and out just for sexual purposes. That's why it's time for you to free yourself. Make the effort to free yourself and release this ex. That's what I'm getting. It's time for you to turn your back on this situation. Because there's something better for you here. There's something better for you. Let's put down another spread here and see what's really going on here with Capricorn. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What is the situation here with Capricorn? What is the situation? What is the situation? See that Ace of Swords again. It's time to cut something out and start your healing process. But of course, someone like I, I see the eight. Someone unexpectedly, you're gonna you're gonna get some unexpected information. Something that's gonna make you happy. But Capricorn, this person is not being honest with you. Somebody just wants to get in and be intimate with you and leave, okay? What's the situation here with Capricorn? What is the situation? Yeah, see, the five of swords. Somebody's trying to come in and manipulate you, play mind games with you because they want to be intimate with you. Look, the devil. Oh, wow. This popped out together. Five of swords and the devil. Yeah. You got a very toxic person 
that's trying to come in and manipulate you, okay? You're being forewarned to release this person once and for all. Once and for all. <clears throat> what other information? Yeah, the Three of Cups. Somebody wants to come in, put you in a third party. They want to party with you, too. They want to reunite with you. They want to party with you. But just know that this person is very toxic. They're very manipulative. They're going to they gonna do... They, this person is willing to win at all costs just to come in, knock you off of your game or whatever it is that you're doing, get you all confused, stuck mentally, and then they're going to leave you again. Okay, y'all. This what I'm here. I don't know. I don't know y'all's story. Mm hmm We have the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, and the Seven of Wands in the reverse. You need to keep your boundaries here, Capricorn, with this person. You have a very strong connection here with somebody. And they know that. And they're going to come in and they're going to use that on you. You need to be strong here. But the, with the emperor being here, you need to be strong. It's, sh it's showing. I'm showing. You showing. You being strong and stable right now. But when this person come in, it's like you don't have boundaries with this person. This person makes you happy. You make them happy too, but they're not. They're. They're not. They're not together right now. They're not together right now. They got one thing on their mind right now, and that's just to come in, be intimate with you, and move on with the chariot at the bottom. Why is the emperor here with the ten of cups and the seven of? Yeah, they... Hmm. Ah, the star card and the will of fortune. Why is it here? Yeah, they want to heal something with you, but they being manipulative. It's not going to last. This is what they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you that they want to mend something and, you know, y'all destined to be together. I'm your mas divine masculine, your divine feminine. I want to heal this situation. Some of y'all going to go for what they're talking about. But at the end of the day, they're going to leave. They're not going to stay. They're not going to stay. Okay, let me see something here. <clears throat> God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Who is this person coming towards Capricorn? 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 It's definitely somebody that's holding on to you. Or maybe you're holding on to them. Yeah, somebody you ended it with. Could be a Scorpio, doesn't have to be. Um, temperance. This person is coming towards you because they want a second chance. They want to balance things out with you. But this person is going to have one foot in and one foot out. Look, this person is going to have one foot in, one foot out. They're going to tell you that they want to balance things out with you. Give me some more information on who this person is that's coming towards. Yeah, very manipulative person. Five of Swords came out again. The Tower, this is going to be very unexpected. But it's not stable and it's not grounded enough to hold it together. Period. What is this person's intentions, guys? What, is the, what are their intentions towards Capricorn? What are their intentions? What are their intentions towards Capricorn? What are their intentions? To balance things out with you, but... Mm, to, but oh, wow. They're going to tell you everything that you want to hear, Capricorn. Wow. What are their intentions, guys? What are their intentions? What are their intentions towards Capricorn? The person is coming in. What are their intentions? What are their intentions, guys? What are their intentions? Yeah, they want to balance things out with you. <sighs> the Knight of Wands. 
the five of swords to manipulate you to manipulate you this is somebody you got a very strong connection with the lovers so there could there's definitely another person around you capricorn there's definitely another person around in this person's life definitely could be your divine masculine your divine feminine but their intentions are to come in and confuse you, manipulate you, play mind games with you. This, this is it's not going to be balanced. Look at those scales. This is not going to be something that's going to be balanced, okay? It's not. Look how that scale is, is tipping over. Uh-uh. It's not going to be balanced. But they're going to tell you that they, they want to balance things out with you. They want to work on this. They want to fight for this. You better keep your boundaries up and you better guard yourself. You better protect yourself, okay? They want to work on it. That's what they're going to tell you. They want to work on it. Queen of Swords is here. So I'm hoping this is going to be your energy. Where you're going to, you can, you're going to see the shit coming. And you're going to be able to see right through them. Because if not, it's just it's just going to be something that's going to be at a standstill. This is something that's not going to move on. Cause, and then you're going to be burdened by it. Because it's not going to move on. It's not going to move on. They coming in. Just just. To, to get you confused. Get you confused, Capricorn. That's what they come in here for. To confuse you. Let's see. Let's use another dot card. Oh, Capricorn, Capricorn. I'm getting like, oh, why is this person even? Yeah, the seven. Look, you need to keep your boundaries up. Defend yourself. Boundaries. Stand your ground with this person. I know it's gonna be hard because you got feelings like deep feelings for somebody here. It's gonna be time for you to do some soul searching. And you probably gonna do that because you got the page of wands, the page of cups here. The page of wands, the page of cups, and the hermit. This person is gonna tell you everything that you wanna hear. They probably gonna go as far as to say, you know, they wanna marry you. And then we have the hermit here. You'll probably go into, you know, take a step back, do some thinking. Because you do love this person. You do. You love them. You love them. You do. You have deep feelings for this person. But they don't have good intentions towards you, Capricorn. What's the outcome for? What's the outcome for Capricorn? I didn't want to deliver this message to me, Capricorn. But it is what it is. You need to be forewarned. Yeah, and use your intuition. Because somebody is definitely coming in that's hiding something from you. You need to be, you need you need to stand your ground. Even though you love this person with this ten of cups here. You gotta you gotta keep yourself stable and grounded. Because this person right here is coming with communication and they're they're lying. The two of swords, the swords are down. This person is coming in with some with some false communication. They're not being honest about their communication. And it's you and somebody else, okay? There's somebody else here in the background, okay? Okay, let's get you an outcome, Capricorn. What is the outcome here for Capricorn, God angels? You're dealing with somebody that's very selfish. What is the outcome here for Capricorn? Or now it's time for you to take care of yourself and be selfish with your love. What's the outcome here? What's the outcome for Capricorn? What is the outcome? Okay. At the bottom of the day, we got the Five of Pentacles. This is how they're going to be making you feel. This is how they're going to be making you feel. Or this is how they're going to come in feeling all, you know, like, you abandoned me. They could have financial problems, too. So, keep your eyes open. There's a lot of red flags around here, Capricorn. There's a lot of red flags here. The Four of Cups. This person does not want you to be a missed opportunity. But, uh, oh God. We got the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Four of Cups. A lot of emotions here. And I'm feeling that these are your emotions, Capricorn. I don't feel that these are the emotions of this person that's coming in here for you. These are your emotions. You want this person. You do. You're still in love with this person. 
the nine of swords and this is where it'll lead you to the nine of swords stressing can't sleep anxiety this is mental anguish judgment you're gonna have to make a judgment on this you're gonna have to make a judgment on this one this person is definitely coming back in so definitely <sighs> let's get you a whispers of love here <coughs> God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What is it that you need Capricorn to know about this situation? What is it that they need to know? What other information that you have that they need to know about their situation? What is it they need? Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Receive. With love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. I don't know what that means, but y'all should know. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. There it is. There it is. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. Not this crazy person that's coming in, Capricorn. Have faith. You got some beautiful cards here. Trust your faith in this situation. Trust your faith in this situation, Capricorn. Yeah. You got new love coming in too. Be patient. Have faith. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. But give your attention to someone else. Trust your faith in this situation. Use your intuition. Because it's, it's on high at this time. Use your intuition. Let's get one more. Let's get a... Uh, give me some more advice. Give me some more advice. One card for advice. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Um, When you release and let all of this stuff go, you're going to get a lot of attention. You're going to be successful. Yeah, you're being recognized already. But somebody in here is trying to come in and disturb your peace. Yeah. We have the higher fun here. Maybe some of you guys are going to be needing some spiritual counseling here. Maybe you need to talk to someone, talk to someone about this situation. Mm-hmm. You've learned a lot of lessons here, Capricorn. Don't let somebody come in and disturb your peace. Do not let someone come in and disturb your peace. Some of you guys have already released this person, but they're coming back. They're coming back. Mm -hmm. Capricorn, this is what I have for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye. Love you.